Hey guys, this is Joey with Low and Slow Barbecue. The one thing I get asked more than anything else is about a shelf that I built on this Pit Boss Platinum KC Combo. Let's take a look at it. So this is it guys. As you can tell, it's a hardwood surface. It's actually poplar wood is what I made it out of, which is a softer hardwood. Now, if you look at the dimensions, we'll measure it right quick. What we have is 31 and a half inches wide and 13 and a quarter inches deep. Now these are about one inch thick boards. What I actually did was cut little bitty strips to length, lengthways. So 31 and a quarter or 31 and a half inches. And now these strips are one and a half inches thick or wide. I took them, I cut them to length, and then I put glue, I stood them up on the edge so that this side was standing up and I glued all of them together. And then I put some pipe clamps, which I'll show in the pictures later on, and I clamped them all together. When I was done with that, I took an electric planer and I planed the surface to where all of these were pretty smooth by the touch. And then I came back with my palm sander and I sanded all of these tops and sides and edges to where it's smooth. I went from 80 grit, 220 grit, all the way to 400 on this. So it's really smooth. I took a router and I routed all the edges to give it this smooth beveled edge. And then I took a sander and like I said, I sanded all of this smooth as I could get it. One of the things that's really neat about this is that I mounted it to the original Pit Boss shelf. The original shelf stops right in here, so I have an additional wider surface to work off of, and I can let this one down. I just come in like normal, push the two clamps in, and it drops the shelf automatically. Now, I waxed this, I, I made a wax with uh, clear beeswax and butcher block oil, and I put that on here all the time, probably once a month. I clean it with hot water, and I can lift it up, and when I'm done with it, just like normal, I put it down. So let's check out the bottom of it. Here you can see how it's mounted. I mounted it straight to the original shelf that was there from Pit Boss. You can also see I took some wood screws that were about a half inch thick and I pre-drilled all the holes in here and then I mounted it directly to the original shelf. And one of the other cool things we made is this wooden crate. I just made it completely out of scraps. Let's take a closer look this at it. This box is made out of pine. It's just a wooden crate, easy, 20 minute build, and it's made out of pine, just rough grade pine. So the dimensions on it are 18 inches wide and 19 and a half inches long ways. And we put a little handle in here and on this side, you can tell we have the crate look, it looks like a wooden crate. We have a little handle on either side. Now this box fits perfect underneath your pit boss. So that's 18 inches wide, 19 and a half inches deep, and it'll fit perfectly underneath your pit boss. So when you're done with it, you can put it in here and it can fit long ways like this. Or when you're completely done with your cook, you can, can turn it sideways and it'll actually slide underneath this leg right here and it fits like a glove and it looks pretty cool too there you have it guys we have a crate box and a shell well, that's it for me today guys remember if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and that's low and slow barbecue make sure that you if you like this content that you like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this just hit that like button down below and subscribe and thank you guys if you have any questions make sure to comment in the comment section below have a great day